so taking the density at the outlet divided by the density at the inlet, we got 1.06, which means we could probably get 6% more mass flow through that engine at 100 megawatts or more. That's a pretty significant amount of power, uh, even though we, we changed this just a little bit. Uh, the same evaporative cooling effect is the way cooling towers work. Uh, you can cool uh, water to reject heat from either a condenser uh, or some other heat load. Um, you see the mist zone, you know, football players or baseball players, it's hot, they're spraying mist into the air, or you walk by some, uh, some restaurant, the patios, things like that, they'll have misters that are evaporating water into the air, same effect. So those are the psychrometric processes. Um, typical arrangement, how you might see an air handling unit, kind of industrial scale, would be, you'd start with mixing. They have recirculated air and fresh air. And then you'd go through the cooling coil where you could reject heat. Then you go through the heating coil where you could add heat. And now you've got your conditioned air. It's going to get distributed through your ducts into all of your conditioned spaces, different zones, maybe different dampers, you know, controlling how much goes to different regions, all those sorts of things.